Hey guys, how are you today? So today is my very first declutter in a declutter series that I'm starting. I've been obsessed with watching declutter videos on YouTube, so I thought I would do one for myself. And I'm gonna be doing lip products today. I've got all of my lip liners, glosses, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks, and I'm gonna be decluttering these. You guys, to be honest with you, I use probably five of these products. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting rid of a lot today. All right, so if you guys want to see, go ahead and keep on watching, and don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. All right, let's go ahead and get on into it, guys. So I actually think I want to start with lip liners because I already know I'm going to get rid of almost all of these. So these Nobby brand ones, I'm just going to go ahead and take them all out. But basically, I bought these on Amazon. It was like a pack of, I want to say like 50 of them or something like that. And they're just not very good. They're very dry and they tug on my lips uh, when I try to apply them. So they're not very good. I need to replace them with lip liners that actually work. <laughs> so right here, you guys can see I've taken all of them out. I'm not going to swatch them just because there's so many of them. But I'm just not going to keep any of them. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of them. Okay, guys. So here I'm keeping 11 lip liners and getting rid of... Wait, what was it, 30? I think there was 30 in here. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we're moving on to glosses. I'm gonna start over here. This is the e.l.f. High Shine Liquid Lipstick. It's actually a liquid lipstick, but it's super, super glossy. This is probably my favorite lip product of the moment, or my favorite lip gloss anyway, of the moment. It's so pretty and brown, obviously, but it's got a lot of pigment, so I love that. Next is this one by Velvet 59. Honestly, you guys, this is like a really similar color. Uh, it's a little bit too sticky for my liking, so I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. Then I've got this one from the brand Noya. I got this in a boxy charm and it's super pink. There's no way I'll ever use that, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so now let's do these ColourPop lip glosses. This one here is really sheer and then it's got a lot of glitter in it. I guess it's not that sheer, but it's pretty glittery. I'm gonna actually keep that one. I like that one. And then this is in the shade Finders Keepers. I think I've actually used this one a few times. It's a little bit more of like a purpley mauve shade. I don't think I have anything else like that as far as lip gloss goes, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this is a really dark one that I also don't have anything like, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. ColourPop's lip glosses are pretty good. Uh, and then I have this bright orange one, which I love, but I've never used. <laughs> but I'm going to keep that one as well in hopes that I'll wear it this summer. And then I've got this one here that's also kind of purpley. Let's see if it's similar to that one. Yeah, I think those are really similar. This one's a little bit more purple. Hmm. I'm going to put that one in the maybe pile. We'll see. So the next one is a Jordana lip gloss. It's just a sheer clear lip gloss. I'm going to keep that one because it's the only clear gloss I have. And then I've got all of these here from Buxom. Um, uh, I don't think I'm going to swatch them because I think I already know which ones I'm going to get rid of. Uh, this one here, actually this one is really similar to that ColourPop shade except this one's a little bit more muted. So I think I'll actually keep the ColourPop one and then get rid of this one. And then I'm going to get rid of this shade as well. Do you guys want to know what shades these are? So this is Berry, Berry Bramble. It's too bright. I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is Berry Blast. Also too bright. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then all of these right here, I'm actually going to keep all of the nude shades. Can you guys tell I like nude shades? <laughs> so then this one here is right here. It's pretty purple. Just kind of like those ColourPop ones, but with a little bit more kind of, I guess, pink undertone to it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. And then we've got this one, which is red as well. Let's see. Yeah, I don't feel like I need this one, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, and then last for my lip glosses, I've got this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. This is in the shade uns Uncensored? Undressed? Undressed. These words are so small, I can't read them. Uh, but you can see it is a super opaque formula. I like to use this to put on top of lipsticks and it kind of just uh, softens up the color a little bit. So I'm going to keep that one. Now moving on to lipsticks. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out the ones that I know for sure I'm not keeping. This one by CoverGirl. This is in the shade 
Heavenly Paradise. This one's super old. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And this one as well. This is from Rimmel number 104. Uh, this is really old too. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I think I used each of those one time. And then this one here is in the shade Vengeance by D.I.S. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Okay, very purpley, similar to those lip glosses that I showed you guys. It's a really nice formula. It's very, uh, like a moisturizing formula. I think this is the only lipstick I have in this shade, so I'm going to keep that one. Then this is uh, NYX Matte Velvet Lipstick, and it's a purple shade, a little bit more of like a cool toned purple. I don't have anything like that. I'm going to keep that. Let's do this one. I know for sure I'll get rid of this one. This is the Kaylin Art Touch. Oh, this is actually a lip gloss, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty, but I just feel like it might be getting a little bit old, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then I've got this one by Sonia Kashuk. I've got like fingerprints all over everything. This one by Sonia Kashuk. Oh, this is a lip gloss too. Very thick, nice formula, but another one, like look at that wand. It's getting gross. I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And I never use it. Okay, so then I have this Lip Lore by Pure Cosmetics. Do you see how nasty that little applicator is? But the actual product inside, you kind of twist it up. Wow, I got a lot. <laughs> um, but I really love the product. It's kind of glossy, and then it's very, very opaque. Uh, and it's brown, which I love. But yeah, I really like that, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, moving on. I have this e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. I actually just bought this last week to use in that e.l.f. video that I posted. I actually really like it because it's sheer, and I don't like very uh, super opaque lipsticks. So I'm keeping that one. Uh, I have this one by BH Cosmetics. I think I'm just going to get rid of this one. Oh, wow. Look how thick that is. It feels really nice and smooth, but I never use it, and I know that I'm not going to use that color. Okay, next I have this Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick. This one, this is in the shade Matte Blush. Very nude, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got this one as well by Jordana, and this is in the shade Matte Tease. And that one's got a little bit more peachiness to it. I think one of these ColourPop ones is similar. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And then I've got this one by Wet n Wild. I think this is like one of their older ones, but I just got it a couple months ago. Uh, there it is there. It's a little more brown. Definitely keeping that one. And then I've got this one also by BH Cosmetics. Yeah, let's put it right here. That one's a little bit darker, so I think I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got this one here. I just got this in BoxyCharm, uh, and I just love the packaging of this. It is so cute to me. And this is what the actual lipstick looks like. It looks like a lipstick I would really like. Look how pretty that is. But I really want to take a picture of it for Instagram, so I'm not going to swatch it for you guys. But I'm definitely keeping that one. So then I have all of my ColourPop lippy sticks. This one is just the primer. I actually don't use this, but I want to start using it because I have really wrinkly lips. So I'm going to keep that one. So I already feel like I'm going to keep all of these, but this is the shade Climax. It's just like a blue purple. Really cool. Um, I just like to keep some bright colors on hand just in case. And then I've got the shade Lumiere. This is the one by Kathleen Lights. Let's put that right there. Oh, that looks super similar to this one, doesn't it? What do you guys think? That one's a little bit more peachy than that one. I'm going to go ahead and keep them both. And then I've got the shade Hype Girl. This one is more peachy for sure. You can see there. I don't use that one as much, so I think I'm actually going to get rid of it. Uh, look, it's really similar to that one. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. So then I've got the shade Cami. This is a matte formula. Put it right there. I feel like that's really similar to Lumiere. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. So look at that. I got rid of two and I thought I was keeping them all. And then this one for sure I'm keeping. It's just a black lipstick. Ooh, these are hard to open. <laughs> it's just a black lipstick. It looks like my kids might have gotten into it, but I don't have any black lipsticks besides this one, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I'm just making a mess of these, but let's go ahead and start with this one right here since it's trying to roll away. This is a little sample by Kat Von D. I'm just going to get rid of this one. It's old. It's really beautiful, but I've had it for so long, and I just don't reach for it. This is in the shade bachelorette. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then this one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. This is a lip paint from JCat Beauty. I've also had this one for a really long time. Go ahead and, oh look at that, yeah, like it needs to be shaken. But anyway, it's kind of that like purpley pink color. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so then this one from Beauty For Real is actually pretty cool because it's got a mirror on one side and 
a light on the inside, but I just don't reach for it. Ew, look at that. That looks so gross. <laughs> but this one's a little bit more glossy. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't use it. Although I love that light. It's pretty cool. Okay, you know what, guys? I got to wipe this off. It's grossing me out. This one's Star Looks. This one, I thought the color was really pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I love that color so much. But it is such a beautiful shade. But it's so, you can see how patchy it is, and it actually doesn't dry down. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is where it gets difficult for my liquid lipsticks because I think I like all these. Let's start with this one. It's kind of a crazy colored liquid lipstick. This is just a green liquid lipstick from ColourPop. I love this. Um, again, haven't worn it yet, but it makes me happy, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> And then I've got these two from Ofra. This one is Napa Valley. I got this in a boxy charm, and it's purple. I always say I'm gonna wear all these purple lipsticks, and I never do. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. It's a metallic purple. I'm gonna keep it, and if I don't use it at least once in the next few weeks, I'm gonna get rid of it. This one is the one uh, Miami Fever with Kathleen Lights. Um, I don't have anything like this. It's orangey, very warm. I love it. It's beautiful, and I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so then I have these two by Huda Beauty. Um, one of these is like my new favorite liquid lipstick of all time. It's this one, Flirt. It's very brown. You guys, this formula, oh, it's so good. Do you guys see how easily that just went on? It was like one swipe and that's it. This one is in the shade Venus. And this one I don't like as much, but I still wear it actually a lot more than any of my other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one too. And then let's go ahead and talk about these Wet n Wild ones. I love Wet n Wild's formula. It's so similar to me to these um, Huda Beauty ones. This shade here is so nude though. There's no way I'm ever going to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. You guys don't mind my hairy arms. Then this one by Wet n Wild is in the shade Flame of the Game. And it's very orange, very similar to that lip gloss I showed earlier, but I don't have an actual lipstick like this. And again, all these bright colors just make me so happy. So I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about these Sweet Cream Matte by Jordana. This is another liquid lipstick formula that I absolutely love. This is from the drugstore. They're super cheap, like $5. Um, this shade I know I'm going to get rid of. Look at that. I'm never going to use that. You guys, I don't use pink lipsticks. So this is in the shade Raspberry Tart. Definitely getting rid of that one. This one's in the shade Creme Brulee, and this one's in the shade Tiramisu. Anything that's like Tiramisu or Creme Brulee I usually love. Yeah, love that, keeping that. And then this one I already know I love, and I use it all the time. So I'm keeping that. Let's go ahead and talk about my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I'm keeping this one. It's definitely really similar to that Huda Beauty one that I love, except a little bit more um or a little less brown so i'm keeping that one and then this one in the shade teeny tiny um ooh, love that keeping that this one is in the shade beeper and let's see oh love that keeping that i already got rid of a ton of color pop liquid lipsticks that i didn't like i should have kept them for this video but this one's in the shade bumble i gave a bunch to my mom and my sister that one is really similar to that Beauty For Real one that I liked, but I didn't keep it because it was getting a little bit older. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So I still have that nice color. And then this one is super dark, and I love that. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Look at that. Ooh, love that. Sometimes I like to feel like I'm cool and wear dark lipsticks, but really I probably don't look that good in them. <laughs> but this one's in the shade LAX. Okay, now moving on to my Buxom ones. This one is in the shade Dominatrix. And let's see, this is a red. Ooh, that formula is not nice at all. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I don't like that formula. And then this one in the shade Devious Dolly. Hopefully the formula is nicer on this one. Yeah, the formula is a little nicer on that, but I feel like I have similar colors to that already, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one in the shade Centerfold. These names. Let's see. Uh, I'll put it right here. But I think my other Huda Beauty one is really similar. So I'm actually going to get rid of that one too. And then I've got this one, which is another purple one. I feel like I have so many similar ones. And that one looks really patchy. I'm going to get rid of that. 
and lever. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one too. It's a nice color, but I'm probably never gonna wear it. All right, so that was that. I got rid of all of the buxom ones. So guys, right over here is the stuff that I'm keeping. I have 40 lip products here, and then right here is the stuff that I'm giving away. I have 24 here. So some of these I'll throw away, the older ones, and then the rest I'll give away to friends or family. So I did not get rid of half, but you guys, this is my very first declutter, so I actually think I did a really good job. I'm proud of myself. So I'm definitely getting rid of all of these. Let me know what declutter you guys want to see next. I definitely want to hear it. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and film that for you guys. But for now, this is all I have. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!